name is Daniel Williford, and I'm the state park interpreter here at Henry Cal Redwood State Park. And I run the interpretive and education programs uh, into the old growth redwood forest up in the sand hills, and also run the volunteer docent program here as well. When I was in college a long time ago, I came here hiking um, with some friends who lived down here. But uh, when I really stayed here is when I um, came to check out an interview for this position. I camped up at the campground and just hiked all around and got to know the place and then walked from my campsite to the interview down at the district office. And as I walked through, I just you know, thought this place is really incredible. Henry Cowell is different than other state parks because it's so close to the Silicon Valley. So within 45 minutes, you can be in a world that's so different from the busyness of high-tech Silicon Valley. And, and it's a redwood forest, which is unique in itself. And then the other thing that I think is really different is it's also got this whole uh, ocean aspect to it. So as you're hiking up to the observation point, you're hiking through sand, which doesn't make sense. Why would there be sand right next to a redwood forest? But so you get a little microclimate of very various different surroundings, then you're only 45 minutes from the big city. Close proximities of very diverse ecosystems. Within steps, you're in an old growth redwood forest or in a grassland meadow. Right, you know, you can be right along the river or up in the, you know, the ridge tops with a chaparral. So it kind of takes all of our lot of California and shrinks it down to this park right here. What Henry Kell is for me personally is it, it brings up more memories than almost any other state park I could think of. Um, I still remember the parking, the camping site, which was 81, which had a humongous oak tree, wonderful hikes, ranger talks. So it's just loads of memories from Henry Kell and loads of photos. One of my favorite memories I have at the park is visiting there every summer and going on a hike. There's a hike, there's a trail that goes down to the San Lorenzo River and you're hiking through all of the redwood trees. And it's a trail that we've taken many times, so we know it pretty well. But as you're hiking down there, the light is all diffused and it's, you know, you're in a redwood forest. Most people, it's, it's the big trees. It's the old growth redwood forest that most folks are coming for. And it's amazing. You, you know, sometimes I forget that there's so many people who haven't seen redwoods yet and this is their first time. And just that awe of them experiencing this is, it's pretty special. Children in the 2000s seem to spend most of their time like this inside. And if you have a park like Henry Cowell that's 45 minutes away, you can take your child away from electronics and they can explore. They can explore, they have, have to be careful of poison oak, but they can go down trails they've never gone before. It's really safe. Kids can bike and scooter all around the, um, the perimeter of where the campsites are and they get to see a little bit of nature. I mean, it's as if they were actually living out in nature. I don't know what the statistic is, but I'm sure it's over 90% these days of kids live either in the suburbs or the inner city. Kids just simply don't get exposed to nature. And when they do, it's just unbelievable how to see the light bulbs open up in their minds as they look around them and they discover new things. And it brings out that childhood discovery. Uh, I think it's important for yeah, the younger generation to support state parks because um, we need these wild places to be in and we need to know about the culture of where, where things were before we got here. Um, we can learn lots of lessons from that uh, and perhaps not repeat some of the mistakes but you know, you know, emulate some of the solutions um, that have happened. So I think state parks uh, appeals to that wildness in us, it appeals to the, that historic uh, knowledge that we're all seeking and, and where we're from and where, you know, where we live and what has happened. So state parks preserves all that and I think that's something inherent that we need. 
if state parks were to close, uh, I think the effect on uh, everyone would be things that we probably can't imagine yet. Um, we, in our lifetimes, we have not lived without parks. Um, but something that I think a lot of people might not even realize or take for granted that we have them, but when they're taken away, um, I, I think it would uh, yeah, kind of change the yeah, kind of the fabric of, of, of our current culture. Um, it's the national crossroads for people all around the country. I've had wonderful conversations, my family and I, with people from all over the country. It's um, God's Cathedral, places like Zion National Park, Yosemite National Park. Without those things, I think it would be a huge, it would take away a huge, um, it would be a huge measure, the quality of life measure for, for people. If state parks such as Henry Cowell would have to close because of a lack of funding, it's just even hard to imagine. You know, I think about when I grew up, there was always a, a creek bed or a forest to explore, and that has gone away. And today, all that my children have is a park like Henry Cowell. Even if we only go there once a year, it's a way for them to be in touch with nature and to see exactly how you know, trees that are hundreds of years old are still growing and how that redwood forest uh, rebuilds itself. I think it would be a really sad day if there was no place like Henry Cowell to visit. You know, just the sheer awe and magnificence of another living being on this earth deserves just that reverence and, and protection, like any other species, you know, would. Um, but the, uh, the amount of people coming here just to experience this, just for the fact of coming to something that's grander and, and bigger than them, um, it really kind of feeds the soul and that's something that you know maybe it's not talked about a lot but it's something that we're all seeking so um, just by you know being able to kind of feed our souls and um, and be a part of something that's bigger than us I think it's worth it just for that.